Hi everyone, so in this video I'll be doing a full review and full swatches on the new Petty Petta Ink Matte Blur Tint. Now just a heads up, I'm not going to do comparison with the Ink Velvet because I do want to do a second video on that. So in this video, I'm just solely showing you guys all the colors, how they feel on my lips and just stuff like that. Just more of an in-depth review. So if you guys want to hear any comparison or colors comparison or whatever just put it in the description box below because i will be doing a part two of it so let's talk about this this is actually a soft matte blur tint it's supposed to smooth your lips it's supposed to give you that blurring effect on your lip which is very trendy in the korean beauty industry at the moment with this one it feels like a soft velvety matte on me but later on it does turn matte and it also gives you like a silicone gel but also like a moussey texture i like this packaging because it really shows you the colors the number the names all on the top of the lid and also around the packaging i love the packaging because it's so different compared to the other ink collection and this one just looked like those blood test tube which i thought was really cute in regards of the packaging as well it is 3.8 gram which is much more of a lighter side compared to the other in collection and in regards of the smell it's like more like a chocolatey scent to me but also a mixture of like a vanilla smell to it now in regards of the applicator it is a dofu applicator just like all the other in collection but this one does have like a slanty pointy um applicator which means that it just meets nicely onto your lips and just helps to just meet all the really curvy part of your lips and just apply really nicely in regards of the application for this i like applying this quite quite a good amount on my lips like with the gradation is so perfect because it is so creamy a little goes a long way with this and the Dofu applicator actually help to smooth it out but for the fuller lip i usually like to make it very defined however with this particular blur matte lip tint i try not to do that i try to give that blurring effect on the top upper lip because i feel like it just looks much more nicer so let's talk about the colors now so the first one is a really beautiful brown orangey shade as always Petty Petta's true model color is way more brighter way more neon way more vivid compared to my lips for this one it's much more natural for me and I really like the faded effect on as a gradation and I also like how natural and how browny it looks as a fuller lip I just love this color a lot however I don't want to disappoint you guys I'm just giving you guys a heads up the next few colors you can see so much similar shade to it because they all have that red under tone to it I feel like there's not much unique to it so please bear with me with my description number two this one vintage ginger it's much more of a radar version of number brown so this one leans towards much more of the reddish orangey side if you don't like like a nudie brown orangey shade i guess but this is also very pretty on the lips in regards of it whether it accentuate my dry lips it definitely doesn't but i still recommend just expert your lips another tip i also recommend with this lip tint is also actually applying lip pencil underneath because it gives that blurring effect it doesn't really feel in the inner part of your lip so you guys will see like mist parts here and there when i do my swatches because i don't put lip pencil underneath during my swatches for you guys to see so yeah number three is much more of an orangey strawberry rich color shade for me now number four is much more like a i guess like an apple red for me so it's much more of a brighter shade for me for me i feel like this one is nothing really special it just leans more towards like the orangey shade shade <laughs> but also like a chili red color i guess and yeah it's just it still looks nice on me and i feel like with this red shades it will probably suit for those who like i mean any of this red shade will suit for those who have any skin type which i guess is great because it's versatile it's great for those who have different skin type but for me who have like 10 of this and this is everything just looks really similar you know next this is number five and this one i also like this one because it does have a brown undertone to it but it also is a red lip color look and this one is called dusky orange and this one is just also very vibrant and this leans towards much of the radar side of a like a dark red pepper flake 
chili. You know, like it's just a very nice color. Now number six is like a coral orangey shade for me, and I really like this one because it's a little bit cool tone, but also warm at the same time. If that makes sense. And this one have like a red undertone, and I love how vibrant this color is. But the gradation doesn't look good on me. But like as a fuller lip, it looks really pretty. It's very definitely very coral. Not not sure why they call it newest coral, but I mean. Yeah, I just like this color. It's actually very pretty. The next color I also like it, and it's one of the few pink shade in this collection, or would I say like one of the two pink shade in this collection. This one leans more towards the warm tone, but also coral tone. If I have to choose one color in this collection to say which one is my MLBB shade, I would definitely say this number seven because I do have quite pigmented lips. The other thing with this matte tint is that this is great for those who have pigmented lips like me because it actually shows the colors on your lip, and I feel like all these colors on your lips actually matches to the packaging, which is great, but obviously not on the model itself. Now next number eight is also the second pink, and this is much more of a lighter pink and also much more warmer as well. This one can also be like an MLBB shade for those who have less pigmented lips like me, but also it's a very pretty shade, and I feel like this will be great as like a blusher color. I feel like this one looks really sweet on the cheek. I feel like this just looks very pretty. Now the next one, which is second to last one, I also like this one, and this is much more of a brighter red, but somehow it's much more of like a warmer tone as well, and also really vibrant. If I have to choose, like which one's my favorite red, I would say this one number nine, and also the next one number ten, which I'll show you really soon, just because I feel like this red colors is very different from the other reds. They are. I can't explain it, but it just looks much more nicer on me. It just really help, just makes my skin fairer for some reason. Like I like being fair skin, you know. But yeah, I feel like this lip color is really nice and definitely doesn't show any of my fine lines. Doesn't show my dry patches, which is great. Number ten is also a unique color, and I feel like this is like a deep red shade, like a brick, brick. Red shade and also like a brown red shade, like so it has a definitely have a brown undertone. I love this so much. I wore this when I went and watched Pikachu. It just really complement my look. And this one, in regards of the longevity for all of this one, it only lasts about five to six hours before you have to touch up. As you can see on the inside, the outline is still there, but the inner part of the lips has faded off. In regards of the staining or the transfer, the staining it does stain my arm. Quite a bit, but it actually didn't stain on my lips, which is great because I don't like lip tint that actually stain my lips. Now I'm gonna show you a little clip of the transfer when I drink my water, so you can see it transfer a little bit. Considering that it is a moussey tint, I expected to transfer more, but it didn't, which is I thought was great. So overall, I I'm not disappointed with this particular um. Lip tint, but I feel like they should have expanded the color a little bit more because you can see the colors are very similar. But in regards of the texture and stuff, I think they are pretty good. So longevity 3.5 out of 5 because you do have to touch up halfway through the day. Pigmentation, all the colors are really nice to me, but I feel like the shades are really limited and very similar. And I feel like with this one, obviously it didn't matches to the model. In regards of the moisture, it is a velvety matte finish, but it does go matte later on during the day. So moisture, I'm just gonna give it four out of five because I do have dry lips. And for the price, because it is half. You know, which is 3.8 gram, not like your usual 8 gram, and it's a dollar expensive. I would say this is just like a 3.5 out of 5. It does do have quite a bit of amount of lip tint in it because a little does go go a long way with this one. So I think it's still okay. So yeah, please stay tuned for my part two of the comparison with this blur matte tint with the Patty Pada in velvet tint because I really want to go in depth review with that one. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review and i'll see you guys on my next video bye